Ignatius487 here. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed 4. Ooh, black flag. I did all the stuff requisite to that uh, little landing place. Uh, I got two ship upgrades, and I learned about increasing a wanted level. My wanted level in... Uh, well, let's see. Apparently they remove the wanted level while, like, in towns. Which is handy, actually. It's kind of nice. We are now sailing, because I didn't record that conversation. We're now sailing to meet Captain Kidd and raid a plantation. Do 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 Oh, that's really nice. Oh a bit painful really. Hold on, hold on, my matey. Oh bollocks. Oh bollocks. Is that landable? Yes. To larboard, sir. Floating booty there for the taking. Raise. Raid. Oh, oh, look at that. No, no. More sail. No, no. Not really that concerned with man overboard. Honestly. Looks like booty. Looks like booty. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. <clears throat> Oh, nice. Okay. Is this a place to land? We're sailing straight for land, sir! Go, sword sail! Pull the main! I don't know why he wouldn't let me land right there. Captain! Is there... There's something here. Andreas Island. We have an assassin mission. And a viewpoint. I want the viewpoint first, of course. Right there. Good. Oh, hey. Fabulous. What I think has happened is that I'm not quite where I need to be yet. So I kind of got off ship a little early. But this will give us a fast travel point in the event of proximity of questing. At such a time, of course, one must then fast travel. Go do the quest, which is quite lovely and handy. A very tiny island. Is that a haystack? Oh, good. We have a bit of crystal thingy, one of those prism dealios. Nice. What? Aha, uh -huh. okay. Who's that? Or what's that? I'm confused. What's this? Oh, bribe, right. If you go talk to those people, 
if you become wanted out in out out at sea yes Shazam crabs don't kill crabs they're gone they're all gone perhaps not oh. boop nice try we will catch you That one didn't even stab. <clears throat> oh, it's the other side, isn't it? Bottle. Another story. Letter number nine. Upon round to the West Indies, a curious incident aroused in me a revelation. It was a wanton act of violence that I had witnessed, one that proved fatal only to the instigator, a pardoned pirate named Savory, who came aboard to work off his debts as an honest Christian, yet died a devil full of drink after mistaking the reasonable abjurations of his fellow men for insults. He was taken by a self-inflicted pistol shot, sustained as he attempted to load his piece in preparation of the first of six duels which he had arranged as challenges against our group. All of us were sad for his misfortune, but none were sorry that our crew grew quieter in his absence. And yet, at seeing the poor chap wound himself so, at witnessing and witnessing the blood freely flowing from his body, a notion sprung upon me like an idea long dormant already within me at awakening a chance to reappear. Thence came the phrase I had heard before, springing in my mind, the code in their blood. It suddenly was sensible to me. The code of life, like a shipbuilder's drafts in miniature, yet responsible for building each and every man and woman on earth. How was it that such an idea made perfect sense to me? How was it I understood already that which had no precedence, no precedent in the most modern philosophies? The code of life in our blood. Imagine. These ideas swirled within me for many weeks upon that voyage, spinning in such a maelstrom of thought I could not articulate them. How nice. Hmm. <clears throat> Let us see if there are any. Are there iguanas? Lovely. Questies, treasure chests, and. Really? We're in the right place. Fabulous. I, don't know, I just missed it. So I did. Going down here first. Yeah. Reach your target's location. Stop it. Sorry. Sorry. Six oh six eight thirty five. Where does this show up? Oh, I don't know where they are with respect to <sighs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like where they're found. the treasure. I'm not seeing it. Seriously. Fine. Flee, flee for your lives. It will probably manifest itself when I get closer to its primary location. No. Oh dear. Sure. But why? Where's the last chest? Seriously? 
It's weird. <clears throat> As I don't know where this quest will lead, I'm gonna go ahead and get. I should have gotten this on the way up here, but I didn't. Bollocks. What? Oh. Okay. I can fast travel there. Where? What is this? Abaco Island. There's me, right there. What's that? Nassau, right. That's really cool. I like I like being able to fast travel. That's nice. Bloop. Okay. That's cool. I'm missing a chest. I don't know where it is. I mean, really, no idea. I have not the foggiest. <laughs> Let us begin the quest, though. Mr. Kid, we must speak. Why, look, it's the bastard son of the late William Kid. Still a mere boy, and yet ten, ten times, times the demon, the demon his, his father was. Fancy seeing you here, can we? Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. Oh, it is a boy. It's a kid, though. Strike to my face only moments before. The name is fitting. Huh. So, what's this I hear about Sire Plan Raider plan plantation? Raider plantation. Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times, they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting I today. I swear, that earn looks... You a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, hmm. I'll point him out. I would. You get to play as a douchey pirate. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. I can't, I I can't bloody well tell if it's a lady or not. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him. And he'll lead you straight to your prize. Okay. What's him there? Despite the waywardness of your enterprise here, I understand that you are men of discernment. Great. Do 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 Hey. You want something? Do 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 Oh no. <coughs> we 
We must stay hidden. <laughs> Burford, Manning, to me. We've done with this place. Aye, sir. What's our course? We'll return to the plantation and there take stock of our inventory. It was a good harvest this year. You may not talk so loud, sir. This isn't anything like a friend of Fort Kent. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with a chap just now. We came to quite an understanding. As you say, sir. Oh, okay. Return to ship. Captain, you have the look of a man crafting a bold idea. The look I've seen before. You mark well, Ade. I've just overheard one of the Beckford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping there. And it gives the idea that I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. Crowd on all the sail we have! Oh, lordy. That's yeah, terrifying. Can we hook that going this fast? Is it possible? Yes. One wood. Strict areas, areas are not supposed to be in. Ships will instantly detect and attack to you into the field of view. Is that, a, is that something I'm supposed to be doing? Okay. Hold on. It's trouble of four. I see them. Oh bollocks! Don't you turn, mate. Don't you dare. Good. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's bloody dangerous, man. Enemy making for us, sir. Don't do it. Royal Navy. Just the go, go, go. Oh dear, I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to die. I don't want to be attacked either. I'm rather busy, don't you know? Wait, is that not it's out here? Very nice. Alright, I'm going. Oh dear. I'm This man's working for Peter Beckford's people. Do you know them? The Beckford's in their sugar empire. Aye. The Beckford's and the Drax's. I never worked at a plantation, but I knew their names from hearing other men <laughs> But you worked a plantation, no? A modest one, I. As a striker in the boiler. I want to go faster. Was it water they boiled? Or something else? Cane juices. Cane juices. Dangerous. It must be why it fetches such a dear Just price. A dear What's price. it like? Toiling on a plantation day and night. Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvest, it's run between two metal rollers. We've got more crew members After now. Awkward. Let me tell you, brother. Boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. There's a touch on the skin. You know, as I would hit the sandbar like there. Burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. Fox guys and rough seas there. Really? I wonder how far back it's gonna put me. I, I've looted, I, I found a guy or two. Target lost. This man's working for Peter Beckford's people. Do you know them? The Beckford's cool. the Sugar Empire. Aye. The Beckford's and the Draxes. I never worked their plantation, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked right, right. plantation, no? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it cool. water they boil? Something else. Well, I got the sugar, the loot from that. Process making sugar. From that ship. Must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like, toiling on a plantation day and night? Well, the cane sugar cut and harvest. It's 
run between two metal rollers. Across the juice from the plant. No, no, we need to turn. After collecting Thank the you. juice, it's time to boil away the waters from the sugar. This we did in patches made of copper. Let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin. Crew plus like one. on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. It's a risk to anchor too close. The soldiers roving the plantation would catch us for sure. Yeah, drop here then and sneak ashore. We'll look after the jackal. Sure. Go, go, go. Ah! No, no, no. No. No, no. No, no, no. Such disarray. That is Cut the bell, which is nice. Wellington's birthday. No one is really there. Oh, oh bollocks! I hate the stupid sir. walking eavesdroppers. We'll soon see, won't we? For you must double the watch this evening. Don't yes. Whatever for? I believe I was followed by pirates. If my eyes on me, though the ship wasn't commonly large, such rascals. Certainly wasn't slavers, though. Not a ship that size. In any case, double the watch. And keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. Sweet. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. For God's sake! What the hell is going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm <laughs> if you're pissed drunk and barely able to stand? I already severed the bell anyway. What is going on here? To be fair, this isn't as terrible as I thought it would be. Gotcha. I speak to the man in charge here. I require entrance to the warehouse. No, you don't. Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? The key, goddammit. Someone find me the key. Okay. Is there no one? Shh. I don't know. Where is the key holder? Is he up there? No. There you are. Good. Very good. Right, so we've got a fellow up there. Hmm. No? Alright. Already broke it. Right. 
What? I severed it. That makes no sense. All right. Anyway, we're out of time for this video. So the next one will. Uh... Oh, there were two. Well, damn. All right. Well. Anyway. Till next time, Bell. We'll see you next video.